Superman. Because Superman's actual name is Cal El. And so if you realize that in the Hebrew, El meant some kind of div divine being. Elohim. El. So Cal El. Well, Cal in Hebrew is light. And El is pretty much always translated as God. And if you start to look in the, uh, if you look in the book of Enoch, all, all the angels who fell, almost all their names end in E-L. Even you think about Michael, Gabriel, Cal El, El. It's, it's not a coincidence. And so in the, in, the, in the Man of Steel movie, at one point, Zod is going after Superman's mom, talking about her son. Your son, Laura. Where have you sent him? His name is Cal, son of El. And he's beyond your reach. And she says, he has a name. His name is Cal, son of El. So he's saying, son of El, who's son of El? Cal, son of God, is what he's saying. Because his name is, his dad's name is Jor-El. But when she says it with that emphasis, so what happens to Superman? Superman is an alien who comes down from heaven, crashes to earth, and now he's the savior of humanity. We're talking about a being whose very existence challenges our own sense of priority in the universe. And you go back to Copernicus, where he restored the sun in the center of the known universe, displacing Earth. And you get to Darwinian evolution, and you find out we're not special on this Earth, we're just one among other life forms. And now we learn that we're not even special in the entire universe because there is Superman. There he is, an alien among us. We're not alone. He's got an S on his chest, which actually you find out later in the comic books, the S was a dragon. That was the family crest. So it wasn't just an S. That's sort of weird, right? And then you also understand that it's Superman. Superman's costume is not the red cape, the, the red boots, the blue suit. Superman's costume is Clark Kent. It's the suit, the tie, and the glasses. It's the hat. It's him pretending to be a bungling uh, news reporter. Because what he actually is, he's an alien with superpowers. Who gets his power from the sun. Who does that sound like? It's like that sounds like the angel of light, the light bearer. People f commonly refer to him as Lucifer. So now you start to get an idea of how the devil might see himself. How the, how the world actually sees the devil. They see the devil as the good guy. We, as a population on this planet, have been looking for a savior. 90% of people believe in a higher power, and every religion believes in some sort of messianic figure. And when the savior character actually comes to Earth, we want to make him abide by our rules. We have to understand that this is a paradigm shift. We have to start thinking beyond politics. From Jesus' own mouth, in the last days, there's going to be a lot of deception. There's going to be false Christs. You start to understand that if Superman is the savior of humanity, is that an idea of a false Christ? That some being from outer space, or maybe interdimensional, could be presented as an idea of a savior to humanity.